We start our day at the bottom end of Macquarie, Old Dubbo Road. Um, it's now opened up. I think they're down there fixing a little bit, I'm not sure. You can see where the water was being. Now this is down uh, junction of Tamworth and Macquarie. A lot of water has dropped here, but the, look at the grass, mud. Wow, that's cool. Uh, Tamworth Street, uh, where I'm standing now, couldn't couldn't get before. There's a lot of water. Let me actually get down there. Uh, just up here, that's where that little grass bit was. It had a nice flow on oil, which I didn't show. It was just in between those two trees. So I'm going to try to go down there and see what's down there. Okay, here we are down at um, the walkway bridge between south and west. That's where it is there, under the water, right there. Gone. At least we can get down here and show you anyway. Trees seem to be gone. So she's uh, flushed downstream a little bit. Wow, look, it's got a nice steady flow on. This fence has been moved by a lovely log tree. What do you want to call it? As you can see, it's taken out a seat. Lovely. Mm. Nice little rapids. I don't know what's floating out, out there. Here we are at um, Lady, Lady Cutler Fields. This was all underwater a few days back. What was it Thursday, now Sunday. So, yeah, good five days she's dropped. Those golds are like two foot out of the water before, now they're right down. So I've got something to show you. A hay bale in the middle of the field. Things that get washed around. Container floating around and moved. I think it's upside down, I'm not sure. Now check this out. How's this for flood damage? Yeah, that's right. That's Bly Street. Gone. That's just picked up the tar and moved it. How destructive is floods? It's water. Look at all these water forces. So yeah, I'll just get up there a little bit more and I'll show you. I'll get up there where that sign was. That's Bly and Macquarie Street where we're on. There's the middle of the road, and you see that white line? She's being put over on the curb. Uh, it's the same damage, similar damage to what was um, by between Maduran and Donny Do. This is Carl's Target's car park, which I couldn't get to before, but that's what the water's still remaining. And the caravan opposite, all the bushes and that. Another hay bale. I didn't realise till after I finished shooting that it was in there, but I thought I'd just mention it. This is down behind my stuff, milestone and all that. The rubbish. It's the gas cylinder, garbage bag rubbish. It's all going to be picked up later on. I'm going to guess. Now we're down Windjawara Street. Just mud and sediment that's like laying on the ground. Yeah. Smells like um, dirty water down here. Lovely. Uh, now we're back on Bly Street. Showing you, it's still underwater down behind the ANZ and Church Street. It's the closest intersection that I can think of. That little picnic area is still a little bit there, just, just a little. Yeah. Once again, we find ourselves behind 
or down the bottom end of Tagaba Street. And uh, over here, there is a skip bin floating in midair. Nah, it's a jam between a signpost and a tree. I think it's actually tied onto a tree. Must have been when the water level was up there a little bit. Someone might have tied it on there. SES or something, I'm guessing. Just a guess, don't quote me on that one. Uh, these signs, they were just poking out of the water before. Down under the library, there seemed to be a bit of rubbish. The fridge, there's a couple of pallets, there's a TV just behind there, and other rubbish. It's going to be a big clean up job for some poor person or people. Now we're down Macquarie and Ocean Street, just down there. And uh, some someone has lost their car to the flood. I know other people have, but here's one for you here. Uh, I don't think there's any chance of recovering that. Uh, insurance job! Yep, definitely. And the council is definitely going to be kept busy cleaning up trees, such as this one. Yeah, fallen over due to a flood. Sitting there for a few days by the look of it. I'd hate to hate to see how many actual trees there are down. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's the end of this one and I'll see what happens in the next week or so. Okay, bye.